runs 1,317 walks. Saturday, Mark McGuire got pitched around again. McGuire stepped back up to the public appearance plate in St. Louis for the first time in two years and fielded one question about steroids. His response, quote, well, I'm really not in touch with any of that stuff because I usually hear it from friends and stuff, and I tell them I don't want to really hear about any of that stuff. I, I don't really have any opinion on any of that stuff. It's just very unfortunate. Memories are more indelible than ink, said the screenwriter. The fans welcome him back. 62 immortalized. Let's welcome back Mark McGuire. Well, I'm uh, slightly overwhelmed, but the adrenaline is going through my body right now. I feel like putting a uniform back on. McGuire was a pitcher at USC. He's going way wild with the ceremonial toss. And again, he never threw with his young son, Max, in his arms before fifth inning. Sean Estes gave up a double, a double, and then that, a home run. Albert Pujols, opposite way, two-run shot. Rocks giving up a 3-0 lead. And here comes more. Next batter, Scott Rowland, homered earlier in the game against Estes, and he chases him there. Rowland is now ahead of McGuire's pace when he hits 70. That's his seventh of the season. Cardinals win. 8-4. The Cubs have won three in a row, including Friday's dramatic come-from-behind win over visiting Cincinnati. Kerry Wood, 11-2 career against the Reds, and that's the fifth whiff by Junior in 12 at-bats against K. Wood. Brian Friel can't get the feel either. Wood with six strikeouts, including pinch hitter Austin Kearns in the eighth with the Cubs up a run. Same frame, runner on third, and Griffey smells RBI. Boys is a loose, smells top play nomination, and that's the stronger fragrance. Griffey thinks that stinks, but he's not nearly as annoyed as Wood is in the ninth. K-Zone doesn't get the called third strike on Adam Dunn. Next pitch. K-Zone. Ball four. Two on, two out. Home plate umpire Eric Cooper no longer on Wood's Christmas list. Next batter, Freel. Sack bunt. Runners advance, a sack fly would follow, and this game is tied. How out of sorts is Wood? Well, Willie Mopena, two for 10 with seven strikeouts against him. There's your go-ahead double. Dunn scores, it's 3-2 Reds. Dusty Baker's gonna pull Wood, and Wood is gonna pull a Dusty from Friday. There he goes, and there he goes. Afterwards, Wood said of Cooper, hopefully he won't hold any grudges. I won't. <laughs> you better hope not. Reds win it. 3-2. Home run that came against the Dodgers. So did 663 off Darren Dreifert. Two out solo job in the bottom of the eighth, fifth of the season. LA's lead is 4-3, and that's a top play nominee. To the ninth, 5-3. Bring on the Gagne. 66 consecutive saves, including Friday's series opener, although Bonds did take him yard. First batter he saw Saturday, Pedro Feliz. It's a one-run game. Gagne gave up just two homers all of last season, two and two nights. Then gave up a walk, a sacrifice, and then another walk. JT Snow on. There's one out. Bonds is on deck, and Marquise Grissom is up. It's his 37th birthday. This could get ugly for L.A. Or it could end in a double play. Gagne throwing change-ups and praying, and somebody was listening. Bond sits. Dodgers win. 5-4 is your final. Kurt Schilling versus Mike Nucina, Red Sox-Yankees from Fenway Park. Schilling facing A-Rod. Alex Rodriguez hoping to help the Yankees tie the series at one, one being the operative number in this rivalry. Total runs from last year's ALCS, last year's season series, the 2002 season series, all separated by one. The all-time Fenway Park series dead even. Bottom five Saturday, back to the action, Manny. Say hello to a little frock. His third career home run, number 350. He's got 15 hits in his last eight games. 4-1 Boston. You've seen it gone after five. He's allowed 33 hits in 20 and a third innings this season. His ERA, 7.52. Schilling much better. Top six, he gets a run. Rodriguez 0 for 4, struck out twice. He's hitting a buck 71 this year. Top seven, Jeter goes down as well. Schilling allowed one run on six hits in six and a third. Walked four, struck out eight. Red Sox win 5-2.
Disappointing start. Seattle hosting the Rangers. M's 0 and 4 at home this season. Jamie Moyer at 8.44 ERA and two starts this season, but he gets Hank Blaylock in the third with Texas up a run. Moyer, five Ks, fourth inning, two out, still one nothing. The number eight hitter Dan Wilson, two for 12 career against Colby Lewis. And he's going to clear the bases with a double. Scott Spezio doubled and singled in his Seattle debut. Among those who score, Mariners go up 3-1. It's 4-1 in the eighth inning. And Ichiro, in the name of Glove. I love Creedence. Top <laughs> line A couple batters later. The 41-year-old Moyer, looking like the all-star he was last year, improves to 13-3 lifetime against Texas. 4-1 M's. Mark Mulder, Jared Washburn, A's, Angels, and Anaheim. Bottom three, Vlad the Impaler. All two-run home run, first allowed this season by Mark Mulder, fourth of the year for Guerrero. Exactly what happened on that play? Well, Damian Miller, as I break it down, sets up inside, right there. But Mulder delivers it outside. That's not good. He allowed four runs on five hits in seven. Vlad kind of reminds of his Sammy as he, th he does the Sosa hop out of the box. Angels up 4-1. 4-2 in the fifth. He's con Hollywood. Vladimir Guerrero again. This could be gone, Bobby Kelty. Newton. He's at the wall. The fan behind him, though, not too happy. Oh, oh, I hate this hat. Angels win 6-3, save number three for Troy Percival. Tigers try from Cleveland. Bottom three, Omar Infante. Off of Jason Davis's foot. Ow, Davis mistakenly hits catcher Tim Laker right in the head. Oh, boy. Another look. Ball bounces right off Laker's beam. Meanwhile, Jody Garrett loves to hit against the Tigers. 30 of his 81 career RBIs and come against the Tigers. He's a 338 career hitter against Detroit. Was 5 for 5 against Detroit Friday night, but Mike Moroth brings him up. Next batter, Moroth gets Colby Blake. He allowed only one run on 10 hits in seven and a third. Worked out of trouble all day, like here in the fifth. Gets Garrett to hit into the 1-6-2. Detroit wins 6-1. Moroth, who lost 21 games last season, is 4-0 in five starts since his last loss, September 18th. The Tigers on a roll. They win this one. Six more. Minnesota hosting Kansas City. Royals have lost four straight. They're 0-4 on the road, but they have Carlos Beltran, and he has Kyle Loesch's number. 11 for 18 with three homers career. Top one. Beltran up, and you know where that ball is going. Out, off, Loesch. Beltran sixth. one nothing Royals. Top three. Twins up 3-1. Beltran on base, by the way, after being intentionally walked, and he can walk on home after Mike Sweeney goes park. His fourth, it's 4-3 Royals, but Kevin Apier got the start for Kansas City, had surgery in the offseason to repair his pitching elbow. Twins operated on him. Apier lasts just three innings, and he was on the mound for this. Christian Guzman to Andres Blanco throw wide to Sweeney. Corey Koski and Lou Ford score. Henry Blanco out at the plate, but the Twins win 8-4. Florida 8 and 2 one of those two losses at Atlanta Friday Chipper Jones homered in that one and this one off Josh Beckett who had given up just one earned run this season gives up two in the first inning top two Russ Ortiz first ever 0 and 2 start in his career gets some defensive help from Eli Marrero turns the Ramon Castro hit into a Mike Lowell out at home Johnny Estrada with the tag and how many times do you see a guy get thrown out at home and then strike out against John Smoltz to end the ball game. Like every day. Well, yeah, whenever we edit that way. Braves beat the Marlins again. 4-1 this time. Brewers Astros continuing their four-game series in Houston. Bottom four, Craig Biggio. Focused. Three-run home run is second. Got all, or got all of that one there, right? Bottom eight, Jeff <laughs> Bagwell. Bags solo shot, his fourth of the year, and the uh, Astros have the bats going four batters later. It's Mike Lamb. He goes yard. Three-run shot his first of the year in Houston. He's up 14-5. So Luis Vizcaino's out of there after giving up four runs in the eighth. Garbage time for the Brew Crew. You bring in utility infielder Trent Durrington. His major league pitching debut gets Vizcaino to end the inning. Brewers lose, though, 14 to 5. The Astros have it going. They've won six of the last seven. Arizona at San Diego. Padres have lost three straight, all at home. Top six, Diamondbacks down a field goal. Two out, runner on, Richie Sexton. I know, you know. That ball is gonzo. Two run homer off Ishmael Valdez. He's not happy. Sexton's fourth. It's a 3 2 game. 
Two on, two out. Aki Norioska tells Richie Sexton, get out. Padres hold on to win it. 3-2.